Right, in this lecture, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you exactly how to do a likes campaign. Now, a likes campaign has one purpose. The purpose is getting people to like your page. That is why you would use a likes campaign. Okay, so as you can see here, I've got 4,532 likes. That's nice and all, but when you consider that Newbury has around about 70,000 people in it, this is a small proportion. So I want to get more likes. So how to do that is simple. You just go straight to your advert manager. So go to create adverts. And here we go. Then what you do is you select promote your page. This is your objective. Promote your page equals likes campaign. So promote your page. And we will put Newbury page likes. Now this is where you can go local. So you have to select your page. So I'm going to put New Newbury and Thatcher and Berkshire. Now the saved audiences that I've got are more relevant to Supo Man. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we are going to create an advert for the local area. So we need to add locations from scratch. So if we put in Newbury, I want current city only. Then I want Thatcham. Thatcham, England. We want current city only. Now, something that's really worth doing when it comes to deciding what ages you should target is to go to your Facebook page, go into insights. This is assuming you've already got a few likes on your Facebook page. So if we go into insights, and then we go down and have a look at people, we can actually see which are the most engaged fans. So, we can see here 69% are women, 70% are women, and mainly in the 25 to 44 category. So placing an ad to this category would not be a wasted ad. And the reason why is because we know that these are the guys who are more likely to like my page than these guys and these guys, okay? So what we're going to do, based on this info, is we are going to go to the adverts manager. We are going to go for 25 to 44. We're going to select women. This is pre-populated with dog lovers, mental health for some reason. So we'll take those off. Now we've got 11,000 people. So now that we've got a clean slate, I don't know quite why it pre-populated, but never mind. So now that we've got those people, what we can do is we can actually put something in the detail targeting, but I'm not going to because it won't really matter what you put for interest. So I'm going to leave that alone. Now connections. So you can put whether the people like or don't already like your page. So we are going to put people that don't already like the page. There's no point in doing people who like the page for a likes campaign. Okay, so we're going to save this audience and we are going to save this audience as Newbury fans. Okay, so that now I know who the main Newbury fans are, I want to be able to use them for repeat ads. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start small. I'm going to put $3 and see how this works. Now, what I can say to you is with $3, now, what I can say to you is that I have done likes campaigns where I've got 0 0.004 of a dollar per like. That's less likely to happen here because the reach is small. But what you're guaranteed is to get high quality likes when you do pay to reach them. And because these are the people who are more likely to engage with the ad than men or other women who are not within the 25 to 44 age group, you're more likely to get positive reactions from this. That's why I say go to the insights and select the fans who are more likely to engage with your ad because it will only cost you more when people just pass your ad. You want more people to react to your ad than to ignore it. If people ignore it, it costs you. So now that we've got $3, it tells us it'll reach about 1,000 to 3,000 people in my demographic. I'm now going to put Newbury fans... I'm going to put W for women, 25 to 44, and then continue. Now, 
This is the hard part. The hard part is finding an image that they will engage with. Now, if we go back to my page, the best thing to do would be to look at what are the posts that have engaged people best. Now, this one here, this one, Newbury versus Thatcham, this has performed the best for engagement. And the reason why is because it's fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this image here, which I used for the live stream. Okay, but if you are wanting to find out what pictures of people reacted to best, you go into insights, go to look at posts, and what you'll see here is how people have reacted to your posts. And you can basically have a look and see what posts have been your most successful. So these two in recent months have been really successful. So is this one here. But I'm going to use this one right here because it is simple in terms of giving them a call to action. This one here, this brain teaser, they're more likely to want to solve the brain teaser than like the page. So this one is better. So I like this post, so I'm going to use that picture. So what you need to do is you need to upload that picture. So we'll delete the one that they're giving me, which is the header of my page, and find the post that I used the other day. So here is the post, so I'm going to select that now. Okay, so we've got the image right here, and you can actually choose to edit this part here. So what I'm going to put is, so I'm gonna put like this page if you're a resident of Newbury or Thatcham and you like to have fun. So this gives a good call to action and it appeals to the people, the young kind of ladies in my area that like to have fun when they are on Facebook. So where's it gonna be? It's gonna be on the timeline, okay? So now that we have got our ad and we have chosen something that is more likely to get positive reactions we will place the order. Now it does say your advert may not run because it's got some text on it, but let me tell you something, it does normally convert. So we'll place the order. And we've got it. And that is how you do a likes campaign that works. I hope you've enjoyed this course. I hope you've learned a lot about how to navigate through the Facebook ads manager, how to build an audience in a super effective way and how to run the most popular ads you can on Facebook, which are the page post engagement ads and the likes campaign. I've been Superman, your superhero, and I hope to see you in another course. Thank you for being here with me today.